when you make a change to a local repository, you can push it onto a git remote. Likewise, when the git remote gets changed, you can pull it back from the remote to your local repository. So in this video, you are going to learn how to do that pull from the remote back to your local repository. Now, before we begin, we need to make some changes to the remote repository first. Usually, this change is made by another person that is working on the same project as you. So they change the code on their computer and then they push it onto the remote repository. Then you can pull it back onto your local repository to get the updated version of what they changed. That's the standard workflow. But in, at this point, since there is no one else that is working on the same project as I am, so what we are going to do is to change the remote repository directly on GitHub and then pull from there. So the first thing to do then is to open up the repository. Let's say in this case, I'm going to change the readme text. Instead of hello world, this is my first GitHub repo, I'm going to add some text into it. I'm going to say, I hope you have fun looking through this repository. And I am going to save. That means making another commit and the commit message will be update. Read me. Commit the changes directly on GitHub. And right now you can see in the project on GitHub itself, there are two lines of text in the readme file. Now, if we open fork and go to our project, we don't see a change right now. Um, fork and other Git clients usually shows you the changes on the remote automatically. Um, they do that through a command called a fetch. You can do a fetch yourself as well by clicking on the arrow that kind of points downwards. In fork, that is the leftmost arrow button that is on the top left hand corner. It's the one that is empty. What fetch does is it checks the remote repository for any changes and updates. If there is, it will tell you that there is an update. It's kind of like a, the, an email client that tells you you have three emails to, to read, something similar to that. So when you click fetch, you can fetch all remotes. That means fetch all the different remotes that you have. In this case, we only have one. Um, fetch all text, that is fine. Just click on fetch and you will be able to see the changes that we have made on GitHub. So once the fetch has been completed, you can see in the all commits uh, section that update readme.md is one commit ahead and the origin slash master branch is one commit ahead of our current local repository. Then on the sidebar, you can see the number one beside our master and an arrow that points downwards. This tells us that our branch is one comment behind the master branch. Once you know how many comments behind you are, um, you can click on pull and that will update your local branch. The pull button is the second button on the, uh, I mean, the, the pull button is the other button that looks like a downwards arrow. And that is in the middle of fetch and push. So the button order goes this way, fetch, pull, and push. So when you click on fet, uh, when you click on pull, you can select the branch that you're going to pull because we have tracked it previously. You can automatically pull the um, master branch. Then again, when you pull the branch from master onto your local repository, you can see that the tags get updated as well. Right now, our master branch is on the same commit as the origin master. 
And if you look at the project in the readme file, you can see that there is the line that says, I hope you have fun looking through this repository in the readme file itself. So once again, our local repository is updated to the one that is uh, to the same one as the remote repository. And that is the difference between fetch and pull and how you update your local repository from the remote repository.